In-step bike trailers are insanely popular on Amazon. If you're looking for a trailer without breaking the bank, InStep is a great option. But of course, you want to get the most bang for your buck, right? We tested out InStep's most popular trailer, the double capacity InStep Take Two. And here are six things you need to know to help you choose the best trailer for your family. Number one, 16 inch wheels on plastic rims. What makes InStep the most budget trailer of all the trailer brands is its 16 inch wheels on plastic rims. Almost all other trailers have metal rims and 20 inch wheels, which are more durable and roll more smoothly. If you're planning on using the trailer frequently or through several years or kids, the Allen S2 or the Burley B have 20 inch wheels on metal rims and would both be good options. Number two, best for paved rides at slow speeds. Because the instep has those smaller 16 inch wheels on plastic rims, the maximum recommended speed is just 10 miles per hour. That may sound fast, but you can easily reach that speed going down even a gentle slope. At 10 miles per hour, bumps are more pronounced. The instep is best limited to casual rides around the neighborhood or local paved trails where you won't reach high speeds and your child won't be subjected to bumpy terrain. Number three, hammock style seats. The seat in the instep take two is hammock style, which means that it is a piece of fabric pulled semi-taut on either side of the trailer. This is the most common style of seat for budget-friendly trailers. It's important to note that the Instep Take Two seats sag quite a bit, especially with two kids loaded into the trailer. This makes for a less comfortable ride for the kids because they can sag together in the middle. It also makes it harder to load and unload them. Number four, exterior covers. The covers on the Instep bike trailers are very basic. Thin nylon covers the sides in front of the trailer. It's prone to tears, which you can actually see here. The cover attaches with three pairs of snaps on the top, front, and back of the frame. The snaps can be a bit difficult to secure. They're also prone to coming undone if you don't have everything adjusted just right. With the snaps in place, the bottom of the front cover secures in place with a long strip of Velcro. Overall, this system works okay once you figure it out, but it's not very convenient and also makes accessing kids in the trailer mid-ride a bit difficult. Number five, interior space. One place the instep excels is in interior space. With 25 inches of shoulder width and 26 inches of seated height, it's actually one of the most spacious trailers we've tested. While this is great for giving two kids more room to move around, it does make the trailer wider, which may or may not be a problem depending on the trails and turns you're taking. Number six, ideal age of the child. What age child can fit in the instep? Kids can technically start riding in a trailer as young as 12 months. But notice here that our very tall two and a half year old is using the lowest shoulder strap height setting. We would be nervous placing smaller kids in the seat and being able to secure them tightly. All in-step trailers have a maximum weight capacity of 80 pounds with a maximum per child of 40 pounds. This weight capacity is what you'll find on almost all bike trailers. Number seven, how do you fold an in-step bike trailer? If you want to fold your instep bike trailer for more compact storage or to put it in the car to transport to the trails, it's super easy and takes just four simple steps. Number one, fold and secure the trailer toe arm under the trailer by removing the retaining pin, folding the arm under the trailer, and reinserting the retaining pin to keep the arm secured in folded position. Number two, remove the top crossbar by pushing in on the black tabs from underneath and then pulling up. Number three, collapse and fold the trailer sides. And number four, remove the wheels by pulling on the metal tab and pulling the wheels off. Assemble the trailer by doing these steps in reverse. And number eight, how do you attach an in-step bike trailer to your bike? Don't worry, it's simple and fast. Just follow these easy steps. Number one, attach the hitch to your bike. Before your first ride, attach the instep hitch, sometimes called a coupler, to the rear axle of your bike, as you see here. There's no need to remove the hitch when you're not pulling the trailer because its small size is unobtrusive and won't interfere with regular riding. Number two, extend and lock the toe arm. Unfold the toe arm from underneath the trailer. To lock the toe arm in place, insert the retaining pin through the holes and secure the clasp on the other side. Number three, attach the toe arm to the hitch on your bike. 
With the trailer unloaded, insert the end of the trailer arm into the hitch on your bike and align the holes at the end of the arm and on the hitch. Once the holes are aligned, push the retaining pin through and secure the clasp underneath. As an additional safety measure, wrap the nylon strap around the frame of your bike and secure it to the tow arm by clipping it to the D-ring. So what's the bottom line? If you're interested in trying out a bike trailer to bring the little ones along for the ride, Instep bike trailers are very affordable options for new biking families. For the price, they are a pretty smooth ride, and we especially love how easy it is to fold them compactly. Just keep in mind the potential for long-term durability issues. If you think you'll ride quite a bit with your family, a great quality trailer to consider upgrading to is the Burley B.